Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. It is Friday. It is a beautiful day outside. I've already been out there to check on my chickens and take my dog out. And it is pretty. It's sunny and a blue sky. So we'll talk about the weather when we get there. So let's check in on the mood meter. How are we feeling today? I'm probably up here in the yellow today. I'm feeling pleasant. I have plans for the weekend. I'm going to work on my back porch and of my vegetable garden. So I'm excited about that. Where are you at on here? All right, everybody checked in. Remember that are any of these feelings bad feelings? No, it's okay to feel any of these things, okay? It's important to be able to talk about how you feel and say how you feel. Ms. Thompson wants you to know how to talk about your feelings, how to tell people how you're feeling, okay? Your families can't help you if you don't know how to tell them how you're feeling, you know? So it's important to be able to talk about it and explain how you feel and why you feel that way, okay? All right, I'm gonna move this back down to the bottom. All right, and we are going to talk about the date and the month. What month is it, everyone? It's May, very good. And yesterday was Thursday. Today is Friday. Today is Friday. And let's go ahead, let's erase this. Let's go ahead and count to today and figure out the date. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Today is the 15th. So 15 looks like this. We have a one and a five, 15. Okay, and we need to write, you need to write 15 on your calendar and we need to find the 15. See it, move it right here for today. Let's say the date together. Today is Friday, May 15th, 2020. Good, and remember it's about to be the weekend so we won't have calendar. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I will be sending calendar but this is my last day of sending calendar, you guys. I can't believe it. Then we'll have some other things happening and it will be, um, we'll have our graduation um, and some other things but this will be my last day right here for my lessons, okay? So only three more calendars. Okay, so we've done the date, let's keep going. So the weather, so I was out there and I can see out my window. You should go check out your window too. It is sunny outside where I am. Let me check this weather too. Yep, sunny, it's 55, later it's gonna be 81. It's gonna be a really pretty day, awesome. All right, so I'm definitely gonna color in a sunny day. So let's color in a sunny day. Okay, we had five, we're gonna add one. What's it gonna be? Six, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, whoops. Six sunny days. Good. So sunny has the most right now. Okay, and the least is rainy, snowy, and windy, because they all have what? Zero, good. All right, let's keep going. All right, let's take away a day, and now you tell me how many days are left in kindergarten. How many days are left in kindergarten? All right, let's see. So we have 10, 11, 12. Yes, okay, so there's only 12 
days left. So how many tens did you have? You had one ten. And how many ones did you have? Two. And that's how we get 12. Very good. 12 days left. Okay. So our snap word of the day. Remember, we haven't done a snap word of the day this week. We've been looking at sentences and we have been fixing them. We have been finding sentences that have things that are wrong and we've been fixing it to make it look and, and be easier to read and look better. So let's look at our sentence today. Okay, this says, I, is this one word? I wanna, want to go? Oh, wait, I want to go. Okay, that's really hard to read. We're gonna figure out why in a second. I want to go to the park. Hmm, there's some problems in here. What do we see? First of all, what's wrong with this, this I? Yeah, that needs to be uppercase, right? Uppercase I. And what is wrong with this? This is supposed to say want to go, but it looks like one word, want to, want to go. That's not a word. What's wrong? Why is this hard to read? What is it missing? Did you say finger spaces? Because you're right. There's no finger spaces in this word. So look, want. So we need a space here. To. Another space. And then go. Those are three words. And they were all squished together. I want to go to the. Okay, those look good. Park. Okay, that's how you spell park. But something's wrong with this word. What is it? Yeah, we don't put uppercase letters in the middle of our words. This needs to be a lowercase a. And what's wrong with this k? Yeah, this needs to be a lowercase k. Oh, I forgot to mark it out. Okay, it has a punctuation mark. What is this thing? It's a question mark. Is this a question? I want to go to the park. No, that's not a question. So we don't need a question mark. What do we need? Yeah, a period or an exclamation point because that's just a sentence. I want to go to the park. Wow, that's all messed up. We need to write this again. Let's write this and make it look better. Let's write this and make it look nice. Okay, so first word was I. Everybody write I. And remember, I should be uppercase. I, okay, we need a finger space. And let's write want. This is want. W A N T I want okay finger space two T O and then we need another finger space and we have what word go I want to go to, which is T-O, another two, to the. Okay, the is a snap word that you guys should definitely know in a snap. I want to go to the, I remember when we write park, let's make sure we have all lowercase letters. P-A-R-K. And you can put either a period or an exclamation point. If you're just saying, I want to go to the park, that would be a period. If you're saying, I want to go to the park, you might want an exclamation point. But look how much easier this is to read. Guys, this is why me and Miss Dawson and Miss Johnson and Miss All and all your teachers tell you to put your finger spaces. And why we tell you to make sure you have all your letters the same size. It's hard to read our writing and it's going to be hard for other people to read your writing if we write it like this. So we want to make sure we're practicing all these things. Great job, everybody. Kiss your brain, super writers. Okay, last thing today. Let's build a number. Let's build a number. We did 19 yesterday. Today, I want you to build the number 11. Let's do the number 11. And remember, you are going to draw the pictures on your paper. 
even if you don't have 10 frames. So let's, okay, to make 11, we still need a 10. So let's make our 10 first. You got your pencil ready to write? All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Okay, that's 10. How many more do we need to make 11? Just one. Yeah, 10, 11. So does that, is that 11 for sure? Let's double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It is. So when we make the number eleven, what equation would we write? What equation are we gonna write? We're gonna write ten, right? We need ten plus how many? Yeah, ten plus one, just one one equals eleven. Very good. And that's why it's a one and a one, because you have one ten, one ones, that makes 11. Good job. You guys are getting really good at decomposing these numbers and figuring out how to build numbers. That's going to make it easier to do math when you get to first grade. If you know how to break apart numbers and see how numbers work, when you start doing harder math, it's going to make more sense to you. Okay. It's called having number sense. And we want to make sure you have lots of number sense when you go to first grade. So keep practicing. You can do this with real things at home too. Okay. You can get 10. Yesterday I saw a picture of Kara. Kara had 10. She was trying to make the number 12. So she had 10 crayons in one pile and then two crayons in another pile. And it was 12. Um, Elijah, he did juice boxes and he had 10 juice boxes in one pack. That was his 10. And then he had two more juice boxes, and that made 12. His juice boxes kind of were in a 10 frame. So you can find math at home, okay? All right, everybody. I hope everyone has a great weekend, okay? I'll see you Monday. Bye.